Hi, this is RGK reviewing Guns Go and Cannoli 2 and the first one as well since we are at it. I had started to prepare a video about the first one but did not find the time to finish it so might as well cover it now. So what is Guns Go and Cannoli? A 2D platformer but most importantly an action shooter in the vein of Metal Slug. I won't hide the fact that Metal Slug is one of my favorite games and I try to keep track of similar games. Guns Go and Cannoli proposes to play as a mobster who opens fire on everything that breathes or used to, such as zombies. In the first game, enemies include the Mafia, the army and mutant rats, while in the second game there is also the German army in the midst of World War II. There is even a great scene with the landing on Normandy. A big draw of these games is that they are playable in cooperative, but beware, there is a major difference between the two titles. The first one only allows local play on a single computer, preferably with two controllers, and the second title can be played locally, but also online with Steam. This changed the direction of the gameplay as both players can use their mouse. In the first game, aiming is only horizontal, you shoot right or left from the character, whereas in the second game you can aim everywhere around you, 360 degrees of freedom. In turn, fights from the second game feature a lot of verticality. For reasons that I cannot fathom, grenades were present in the first title, but are missing from the second one. As it stands, the first game is more focused on good positioning, while the second one is more focused on good aiming. Overall, the weapons are all quite efficient and give great feedback of destruction, mayhem and gore, exploding the opposition in small chunks. There are a lot of different styles of enemies and backgrounds, which helps these two games fulfill their mission as violent and fun shooters. Enemy types and interaction can also vary. There are enemies that rush you, those that shoot you from afar, those with shields, those with grenades and so on. Thus, there are small tactical variations to spice up the gunfights, but also there is almost anything that a player can ask, it is still not exactly perfect. Indeed, the game is lacking a little something that Metal Slug had, it's a better management of pace and gameplay diversity. In Guns Go and Cannoli, it's always sort of similar gunfights, even though they are intense and there are small variations. But the game always has a similar pattern, whereas Metal Slug was building each screen as an entirely different experience. You have probably noticed by now, but the graphics are great and very polished. It feels like playing inside comic books. The rest of the technical aspect is perfect and complete. There is everything we need, including rebindable keys. The only issue I encountered was when the person playing with me could not use the left click of the mouse in the menus, however it worked once inside a game. Since I mentioned playing with someone else, the game is largely directed towards action and there are lots of checkpoints, so it's very accessible to casual players. Just the boss fights can be too difficult, since their life is doubled. I still had some trouble in the second game, when one of the players dies and respawns, the survivor loses half their health, which meant that after dying over and over against the boss, my second player dropped my own life down to nothing. It was so low that a straight bullet was enough to kill me and trigger a restart of the whole fight. Thankfully, it is possible to disconnect a player, succeed in the fight, then reconnect the player. Despite my difficulties, I must admit that I liked that health points were shared between the players. It pushed us to care more about protecting each other. Overall, my negative criticism on these games is just about some small details. Both Guns Go and Cannoli are excellent cooperative shooters, the first one locally with two controllers, and the second one preferably online with mouse and keyboard. It's violent, it's fun, and it's very well done. I hope you enjoyed this video, bye bye!